Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows cannot load the device drive for this hardware because a previous instance of the device driver is still in memory and you are experiencing this pop up on your Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10 device. So, hopefully, we're going to be able to resolve the problem here without too much of a hassle and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we will start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in device manager into the start menu. Best match should come back with device manager right above control panel. You want to go ahead and just left click on that one time. May take a moment for the device manager to load all the drivers. So just want to be patient on that. I'm going to expand the window a bit so we can a little more clearly see where we're going. And now you want to expand the universal serial bus controllers at the bottom of this listing, otherwise known as a USB. Go ahead and double click on that or left one little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now there should be some items that say generic USB hub. You want to go ahead and just right click on where it says generic USB hubs in here, right click and then uninstall device. You will click on uninstall. Once you're done uninstalling all the generic USB devices in here, you should restart your computer and it should automatically locate them again. So anything that's hooked up to your computer should automatically begin updating the driver software automatically. It may actually be able to identify without even restarting your computer, but I would suggest doing the restart anyway. So again, just go through here, uninstall them. And since you are hooked up to your computer, you might actually see this screen refresh while I'm still recording here, and it might actually reinstall while I'm talking. But just want to point it out there that you probably should restart your computer once this is done. It should repopulate this list underneath Universal Serial Bus Controllers, and hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. So hopefully that was good. Another thing you can go ahead and try to do would be to close out of here. Open up the Start menu. Type in power options. So this will look a little bit different depending on what version of Windows you're running. Windows 10, they've replaced most of the stuff with the modern UI appearance. You actually have to go through that in order to get to the control panel, or you can just go through the control panel the long way. But if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, just type in power options here. On Windows 10, I have to go through power and sleep settings, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then there'll be a link on the right side here underneath additional power settings that I'm going to go ahead and left click on. Now whatever plan is currently selected, I'm going to select change plan settings that corresponds to that plan. So whatever's filled in in this little circle here, you want to select change plan settings next to it. And then you want to select change advanced power settings. Now underneath hard disk, it should be expanded to turn off hard disk after so many minutes. You just want to type in never. Just get rid of whatever is filled in. So if it says 20, type in the word never in here and then just click out of it. And you can see now it just says never. So it will not turn the hard disk after however many minutes, which is what we want to do. Left click on apply and OK. Restart your computer and hopefully that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.